So a product we're going to show you here is our fleece wiring loom tape. It's a replacement to the old PVC vinyl tape, which is basically vinyl with an adhesive layer on it. You can see these old looms are wrapped with it. And what generally happens is when you touch it, you peel the adhesive off and it leaves the end like this. So if we use the old PVC loom tape here and we start wrapping the loom, what generally happens is you get to an end and you want to stop. You've either got to get scissors, try and cut it nice, or if you try and tear it, you end up with a piece like this. We've touched it all, you stick it down, it'll want to unwind itself. What we've got here is our fleece wiring tape. Manufacturers love this tape because it gives them a DV reduction, which every bit of noise, or cancelling out every bit of noise, is important. So one of the great things with this tape is it's got strength longitudinally, but if we go to tear it, you can actually tear it across the grain, which you get a nice finish on it, and you can wrap it over. So from an ap actual application point, it's a great tape. So in our range of loom tapes, we've actually got two different kinds. The fleece tape, which is on my left hand side, which you can see it's got more of a woven fabric look to it. And then we've got the underbody loom tape, which is a chemical resistant fabric tape. So it's got a denser waterproof style finish to it. So we'll take a look at it. So as you can see, it's a self adhesive tape. Once again, we've actually got this loom here wrapped in it. So this is simulating connecting to a wet area. So you'd use this in your engine bay or on your undercarriage, anything that's facing road, wet area, oils, solvents, that sort of thing, so connected to the motor. The advantage with this too, much like our fleece tape on the interior, it's highly abrasive resistant. Uh, it's not a heat shielding tape, so it's good up to around 130 degrees. It's got a longitudinal strength, so even if you try and tear it down the grain, it's not gonna tear. However, you can tear it across the grain. So from an installation point of view, you can wrap your loom and then you can easy tear it that you don't actually need scissors to cut it. 